Hi, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Ashish Singh Kuntal and I'm the founder of Hawkeye Forensic and a senior digital forensic analyst. Uh, in this video today, we would be learning about how to create a forensic uh, image using a hardware tool uh, which is used in forensic investigation by the law enforcement and other agencies. So first we would be like to introduce like this is the setup of a forensic Falcon Neo. Uh, we have two drives in here. One is a 32 GB sand disk drive. That is uh, which we would be using for destination drive or case drive. Another drive we have, uh, 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 this is a Neo drive, Green Tech Technologies, which is a, of uh, 8 GB. Uh, sorry, that is of 16 GB, which we'd be using as a uh, suspected drive. So now we would be uh, before we start. So we generally how we proceed in forensic. So as per the procedures, we would be going for two things. So we like to fill the case exhibit form, which is on to the side. Like we have to uh, uh, given the all sort of information, which is how uh, the customer or client is giving us. And in, in continuation with this, we have a chain of custody form which runs into two pages, which is generally we proceeded to maintain the integrity of the evidences. After completing, I won't be going and writing all this stuff. Uh, we want this video to be very much short and precise. So first, let's start this investigation. First, we would be going in here and starting the Forensic Falcon Neo. This will take a couple of minutes to settle this thing down uh, since we have uh, two images now uh, our image which is uh, onto the suspected drive or uh, which is which is a pen drive will be going onto the left hand side and our destination drive of uh, 32 gb which would be going onto the right hand side so in generally in forensic this is how we go and investigate uh, onto the sides we always remember this like uh, left hand side it's suspected drive and onto the right hand side it is more like a destination drive so we have ports in here onto the left hand side we have d1 we would be proce proceeding this and connecting the destination drive first after completing this we would be connecting onto the left hand side our suspected drive so as we can see uh, both the drives are connected we would be going uh, further with this analysis process <coughs> so this is a quite a uh, user interface for forensic Falcon Neo uh, we won't be going much more onto the side like a uh, uh, introduction video of forensic Falcon Neo instead we would be directly going for imaging process first we go on to the uh, this is this is a quite uh, look over of this forensic falcon neo this is a kind of a home screen so what we would be uh, doing we would be selecting the mode in here so we click on to the mode so this is like what kind of image we want to make it so today we would be learning about drive to file images which is already been selected in different scenarios we choose different different uh, images we would be clicking ok onto this then we would be going we would be going on to the source side uh, which is source is majorly on which drive the suspected drive we called it and the source of that uh, we are creating an image or forensic image onto the destination side we check this it out and then we say flash drive that is of 16 gb and as i said like uh, it is onto the left hand side uh, as a suspected image uh, that is already selected so we would be quickly going on to this side and after the selection, we would be moving on to the next settings. We would be clicking on to the settings for further analysis now as we have case info. So what kind of drive is this? So we would be filing all sort of things or filling it up. So case file, we will say HEF. Forensic. Case. Of. Of. 
so this is just for the reference purposes how we write this thing down h here we usually say uh hawkeye forensic case id so generally in our uh, terminologies we are writing every case case id starting with hef n on this is like 2122 so the series which whichever the series we are following on to uh, uh on into our organization we go on to the side then we have examiner name so for example my name is ashish so i will write as kuntal is the short form of a name so i will be write writing this just for the reference purposes now evidence number if if any evidence id is provided by the agency which you are working in or the case id so if uh, the thing is same so we can say hef 1 so for example we have any evidence id so this is this is uh, so that is that is the one hef uh, case id which we have already provided going on select after selecting this we would be going on to the case notes if we want to add any kind of case notes onto this side then we can further uh, go so that other investigator can uh, collect this kind of information we will be clicking all sort of things now we are already ready with the you know uh, with uh, all sort of information which whichever we want to provide it on and uh, after that after that like we just want to make sure of it everything is uh completely fine we would be going on okay now you can read out every sort of information if in case like you just require this this information is filled according to the agency you are working in and after this we have destination the final thing is like where we want to create the image so we have already uh, you know have this destination drive connected which is a 32 gb uh, uh case drive or we can say usb drive where the, this uh, uh the suspected image would be created on to the side so we will be clicking on to this now we have all things are ready we will we are ready to connect and uh, you know we can start this thing process so it's very much simple into the process like we just need to follow the instructions uh, which is uh, completely on to the uh, user interface screen after this like we would be starting this i'm sorry the case drive is not selected after the selection we, now we can start this thing now so <coughs> that is us start image 1 are you sure so we will be saying yes now as you can see the whole process is already started so it shows up you the how much byte size has already uh, been copied or image uh, what is the rate of this so as per now we don't have it's not yet started or uh, it's just preparing i suppose and we have the elapsed time how much time it already passed so you can see like now we can we can go and uh, you know see the remaining time so it says 2 hours so for 2 hours we'll let's uh, this thing continue and uh, we can pass on the information like uh, you know whenever this is finishes so we can come back and uh, see how much information which is already there so that is a quick introduction then we would be going how this image is completed after the selection into the next video okay as uh, now the image has been uh, completed the of the suspected drive into the destination drive which we chose uh we can see it like the complete task is done and we can see the information which is related to the total size of the image file uh rate at which this image has been created into the destination drive total time have uh, elapsed time is the total time taken uh, by this device to create an image uh, remaining time the task is completed done so zero uh, read errors so generally what happens like if in case like drive is not uh, the health of the drive is not properly uh well or it's not healthy then it would be creating some sort of errors but generally uh you know it happens with the hard drives uh but the pen drive also can occur some sort of errors but in into this case uh we don't have any errors related to this 
so rest of the thing is there to verify last uh, into this like if you want to verify uh, how things has been done so we can go on to the log site we can click onto the log file so we can see our recent images which is of 25th june is HEA forensic case of data deletion we click on to this image and we say view so this is for the logs so if somebody want to uh, note down or if somebody want to say like uh, what exactly uh, you know has been done how this uh, image has been created so complete uh, detailed report of this log file is uh, there which is uh, which is having including the hash values and complete integrity uh, which shows like we haven't done anything onto the original drive so we haven't connected drive is coming this uh, forensic falcon is coming up with uh, inbuilt write protection so this is how we can do if in case like we want to export it out uh, we can export the logs into the different files so that we can create down or we can we can uh, put uh, uh, into the apna, uh, report files which is which is already uh, you know the case which is assigned it on according to the case we can put this log file uh, to showcase like we complete, uh, completely maintain the integrity of the evidences. So that's it for the, uh, this complete video of uh, how to create image uh, using Forensic Falcon Neo. Uh, for the further, uh, we would be discussing some sort of more events like which, uh, which can be uh, used into the forensic investigations. That's it for now. Thank you.